Hallelujah. Hallelujah, which is greater than any other name. We thank you, Lord, that you made your name available to us to be able to call on your name. Ha, to find safety, to find salvation, to find refuge, to find peace, to find healing, to find comfort, to find friendship, to find love, to find all that we need. We thank you, God, that you made your name available to us. Think about that, the name of Jesus, which is above every name, made available to us, hallelujah, where we can use it. Listen, think about it, the brand name of Chanel and Louis Vuitton and all of these wonderful names that represent these wonderful brands, right? These names, they have exclusive rights. You can't touch it. You can't call on it. You can't use it. You can't reference it. You can't use it. You can't make money off of it. You cannot borrow it. You can't do any of it. But the name of Jesus, the name which is above every name, when we are a believer and we invest our lives and our trust in Jesus and he gives us his life to live through us, my goodness, we can call on the name. The name becomes ours. He puts his name on us. We become his brand. Come on, y'all. We become his brand. Hallelujah. We are his representatives. When people see us, they are to see Jesus. And so we are not only his brand, we can call on his name. We have the name of Jesus. We can name the name of Jesus. We have the authority and all the rights and privileges that come with the name of Jesus. So y'all go ahead with your Chanel bags. Y'all go ahead with your Louis shoes, with your, with your, with whatever they are. I don't even own them. I'm not hating on them. All I'm saying is this. I've got the name that is above every name. You who are followers, believers, disciples of Christ have the name which is above every name. And at the name of Jesus, every other name must bow. Every other name must come under, hallelujah, the agenda of the Lamb of God, whose name is Jesus. It must bow and it must serve that. So guess what? If there are some things in this world that you have need of, then you call on the name of Jesus. And the, that name, which is higher than, than the water that you need to pay for or the electric bill, that name, which is higher than any other name, any other thing that you can name that you have need of, that name of Jesus will command all of the other resources to line up and to serve the brand of his name, which is Christ Jesus, son of the living God, the most high Yahweh God, hallelujah, the name of Jesus. Listen, I just get excited when I think about the fact that on my rebirth certificate, not my natural birth certificate, but my rebirth certificate, being born from above, having a heavenly father, not just the earthly father, which we all start off with. All of us don't have our earthly father's name on our birth certificate. We understand. But let me tell you something. When we are born from above and we become an actual child of God with the rights, privileges, and all of the inheritance of a child of God, Oh my goodness, on your rebirth certificate, your last name says Jesus Christ, okay? <laughs> he said, I will put my name on you. I will call you my own. You are my beloved. You are, oh, you belong to me. I will not be ashamed to put my name on you. Oh, come on. So, so we don't want to walk around and and scare people and be, you know, make people think that we done lost our mind by walking around saying, just call me Jesus, just call me Mrs. Jesus Christ or something like that. We, we, we don't want to do that, okay? Because the, the, the people wouldn't understand. But just knowing in your heart, knowing your true identity, being rebirthed into the kingdom that he has named his name on you, just like when I became a Mrs. Jerry Isaac, actually do have all rights and privileges to say, call me Mrs. Isaac. You know what I'm saying? So technically we do have those rights and privileges. Call me Mrs. Jesus Christ. Okay. Because I am the bride of Christ. Just call me, you know, his beloved. But, you know, we'll save that for, for the inner circle. We don't want to scare the people out there, but just know in your heart, mm, just know in your heart. Hey, 
that you have the name of Jesus. And at the name of Jesus, hey, shout up, I say, listen, the, 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 the triune God, God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, all agreed that it was good and is good, that all the fullness of God, all of the deity, all the representation of the authority, the sovereignty, the wisdom, the glory, the majesty of God. It was okay and it was good that it would be housed and resident in Christ Jesus, in the body of Christ Jesus, that he came as a representation of the fullness of God in the flesh. So with that being said, we know that when we name, listen, Everything that my husband is, I am and I have. Just by just by association and being becoming one with him. When the word of God says, when two be the two come together and they shall become one flesh. So when we are married to Christ, we are one flesh with him. All that he is, we are. All that he has, we have. And so I'm just grateful to know that we are his beloved, that we lack no good thing. And the word of God says, no good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly before him. There's some conditions on these scriptural promises, but I hope that that song ministered to those of you who were in the room and able to hear that and just to be able to call on the name of Jesus with a new understanding or, or a refreshing to your understanding, okay? When you call on the name of Jesus, eh, shout out by saying that this name isn't, oh God, I thank you. This name isn't far away from us. This is not a mystical thing. This isn't even something that we have to just strictly do by faith, but this is our reality and it is on your birth certificate. Imagine, uh, even if you got to create one, just, just make you a certificate that has th the name of Jesus on it behind your name so you can really press into the reality that you are as if a person who is married to someone, all of who they are. Listen, I'm so grateful to God. And I, you know, you know what, in, in the human realm, I know when the Lord brings two together, they, they, the two become one, they become a greater, a greater being as the one than they were individually. Okay, right, so now they're compounded, they're multiplied. But just by virtue of the, the nature of the male and how God has designed the male, the responsibilities and all that he has, when a woman joins with a man, the man is increased to a capacity to be able to become the husband that he uh, needs to be. There is something that comes with a wife, okay, not just with a woman, but with a wife that gives him the increased courage, the increased uh, stamina, the increased strength, the increased wisdom. Because the word of God says, he says, when, when a man, when a man finds a wife, ah, <laughs> he finds a good thing and he obtains favor from the Lord. The Lord knows that the man needs, he needs an impartation. He needs an elevated uh, 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 level of discernment and gifting and strength. He needs those things to become. But guess what? It comes with the wife. It comes when the wife comes, God pledges with this wife, I'm going to give you everything that you need to be a husband. It's up to you now. It's up to you to cultivate that. It's up to you to, 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 to dig in and, and to, to get that, right? But see, with Christ, when we become married to Christ, Christ is the example. He is the source. He is the ultimate. He is the most excellent. He is all of the things that a husband needs to be. So to be married to Christ, first and foremost, even our husbands, okay? This isn't a gender thing. This is a spiritual relationship that is just a represent, representative of God's idea for humanity and for, for God's idea of how to love us all equally and, and greatly. So male and female, 
are married to Christ and they receive everything that they need to receive from the father, uh, from a, a husband, the, all of the things that are resident in the male expression of God is made available to our males who are here in the world so that they can walk and be a, a representation of the male expression of God. And it is made available to the female so that she can have all that she needs to become the right representation of the female expression of God. But when the female comes to the male, she gives him something that he will never have without her. He gives him, first of all, he gives him the right. He, she, gives, she gives him the right to become a husband because now he has a wife. And now God says, I pledge my favor to you. As long as you have this wife, you have the favor that comes, that a husband needs to be a true husband. I will give you favor. This favor represents strength. It represents stamina. It represents wisdom. It represents faith. It represents all that you need. What am I saying? What am I saying? I don't know. I'm saying what the Lord has just swelled in my heart to say. Bottom line is the name of Jesus, who Christ is, our bridegroom mm -mm. within him within him is all that we need and when he finds us receives us as his beloved whether we're male or female he woo, we he puts his name on us and we become his brand that's what i was talking about in the beginning so like we said, Chanel and all those other brands that you'll never be able to use the name, call on the name, leverage the name, profit from the name. You better not use certain uh, artists' songs without getting their permission. The, the name, the copyrights and all those things on those names, you can't touch it. But Jesus, hallelujah, the name that is above all names uh -huh, and the one who gave all of these other small brands the idea and the wisdom to be who they are and to create their brand and to be well known in the world the one who gave them that he freely gives us his name so we have we, listen the name of jesus houses everything that we need the name of jesus houses everything that we need glory to god hallelujah i hope y'all are excited about the name of jesus i know i am just thinking about it thinking about the name of jesus Glory to God. So listen, I have a scripture I want to read this morning. And then, and then prophet, he's going to come and just pray a little bit. And then we're going to go on in and, and see what God has been stirring up in your spirit. And then after that, we are going to hear from the man of God, from his heart, whatever it is that he wants to share. We want the prophet to always sit in the seat of, of prophet glory. Yes, yes, yes. Prophetic minister of our keeping. Yes. We want him to always sit in that seat of where he is at, at rest and he is just free to just flow from his heart, okay? Um, and we know how to flow with the man of God because he always gives us some big things to chew on. And sometimes he thinks that they're just little things or they're, they're you know, little. But for, listen, when the spirit of the Lord blows on it, there ain't nothing little that comes from this man of God. His contemplations, his meditations, his concerns, his prayers that he takes to the Lord. God always speaks to him about something. And so we just want you, man of God, just to, just to flow, you know, just to flow, chill. This is our vacation month. You know what I'm saying? We don't have no whip. We never had no whips on our back anyway. Right, that sounds like a setup. That, that, that sounds like a setup. <laughs> it's this Holy Ghost set up, okay? <laughs> well, the Holy Ghost is putting a demand on your anointing. We put a demand on your anointing today, and we call forth the anointing of God. Hallelujah. Just to flow freely. Because let me tell you something. We love you. And I'm not saying that just because I'm your wife. I really appreciate the gifts and, and your spirit, your, your attitude. And of course, we all know nobody's perfect, right? We all have our struggles. We all have our concerns. But just the fact that the, the you are concerned, you you do you know talk to God, you do uh, tread lightly 
that lets us know that we can trust what you're doing versus someone just comes on up in the kitchen and just slinging stuff anywhere and it's just cocky and just thinks that you know it all and you can't know. So that's why we know that whatever you share is going to come through so thoughtfully um, that we will we can trust it. We can trust the God in you because you lean so much on him for these things. So we love, we love that. Let's go to the book of Joel. <clears throat> Joel. Let's go to the second chapter. I'll be reading from the New King James Version. I'll be starting at verse 21. It's so good to see y'all's beautiful faces in the house today. Glory to God. Starting at verse 21, the book of Joel. Joel. Chapter two reads, fear not, O land, my God. Come on, I think I just make that a tagline. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice for the Lord has done glory, uh, marvelous things. Do not be afraid, you beasts of the field for the open pastures are springing up and the tree bears its fruit. The fig tree and the vine yield their strength. Be glad then, O children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain faithfully, my God. And he will cause the rain to come down for you, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. The threshing floors shall be full of wheat and the vats shall overflow with new wine and oil. So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locusts, whoo, I just want to just fall out there. <laughs> I want to go off camera and just lay on the floor just at the thought. I will restore to you. I'm evidence, me and prophet are evidence of the ability of God to restore. He said, I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust. My great army, which I sent among you. The Lord sent this army. He sent them. Who so faithful are the wounds that are made by a God who loves us and has a restoration where he wants to remove all of the old. And so he sends locusts to come and remove and to devour the old ways, the old thinking, those old those old patterns, those old cycles that we had grown so comfortable with, that we thought that we needed. He sends them to devour them, to make room, glory, to make room for what? For, for threshing floors full of weight, for vats that shall overflow with new wine and oil. He says in verse 26, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord, your God, who has dwelt wondrously with you. He's, he calls this a wonderful dealing. Oh, come on. These hard times, these times that we've incurred great loss, that we felt like it was a great loss. He says that was his wonderful dealings with us. My God. You talk about apostolic ministry, miracle signs, and wonders. This is God's idea of wonders. Wonderful dealing. He says, and my people shall never, glory to God, be put to shame. You will not be put to shame as a result of what has felt like harsh dealings in your life. He promises that the outcome will not bring you shame, but will bring him glory and will bring you fulfillment. It will not bring you shame. In verse 27, then, hallelujah, 
you shall know that I am, I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. And also on my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days. These are those days, y'all. And I shall show wonders in the heavens and in the earth. You who have incurred great loss, great calamity, great trauma, great tragedy are a wonder to behold. Dr. Johnson, you are a wonder. Christian, think about your early days, your beginnings, your birthing in your early days. You, sir, are a wonder. Debrea, my God, you are a wonder. Joanne, all the years that we've talked about of abuse and things that many of us have lived through to be looking as beautiful and preserved and salted and the light of God shining through you the way that it does. You, woman of God, are a wonder, my God. And we already know our prophet is a wonder. We can't say he's a walking dead man because God has given him life, but he has touched death. Death has touched him, and the Lord has raised him up. The wounds are in his body, but faithful are the wounds of a friend. Hey, shut up, I see our friend Christ Jesus. Faithful are his wounds. My God. Wonders. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And finally, verse 32, and it shall come to pass that whoever, whoever, calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, there shall be deliverance. And the Lord has said, among the remnant whom the Lord calls. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He arabashe, he sando ko ye arabase. A prophetic minister, Markiva, he arabashi, woman of God. You come through here, you pray first. He shana masse. And then after you're done, if somebody else has prayer, a, a, a word or something, come on through here. But we want to hear it. The Lord is calling me to call on you first. Um, and and just hear what the what the people of God have to say in response to this passage of scripture. Um, come on through here, woman of God. Glory, Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord God, and we praise you, hallelujah, for your word. I thank you, Father, and I praise you, hallelujah, Lord God, that your word is true. We can stand, oh God, on your promises. God, I thank you that your promises are yes and amen. Yeah. God, I glorify you today, hallelujah, for your word that declares, God, that you are a God of restoration. Ah, God, you love us so much, Father. I thank you, Lord God, and I praise you that you sent your word to encourage us, God. Promises that we can stand on it. Ha, Rebbe. 
God promises, oh God, that we can digest and consume our minds and our thoughts, God, with your word. I thank you, Lord God, and I praise you, hallelujah, that our minds are being refreshed and washed in the river of your word, God. I glorify you today, hallelujah, that you shall restore everything, oh God, that the locust and the canker worm have of um, eight and God, we glorify you today, God, and we thank you, Lord God, and we praise you for your faithfulness, God. If we had 10,000 tongues, we still could not praise you enough because of your goodness. So, Father, I thank you, hallelujah, that our steps are ordered by you. I glorify you today, hallelujah, Lord God, that you have us on your mind. <laughs> you have us, oh God, on your mind, God, in the very heart of you, God. I thank you, Lord God, and I praise you. Hallelujah, that you love us. You consume us with your love. Ha! I thank you, Lord God, and I praise you. Even when we did not love ourselves, ha! God, I thank you that you reached deep down in the muck of the Mari, God, and you pulled us up. Ha! Shit, ha! I thank you, Lord God, and I praise you that you established our growth. God, I thank you, God, that you said a new song in our mouth. I thank you, Lord God, and I praise you, hallelujah, that we are wearing new robes, new mindsets. I thank you, God, and I praise you. Father, for this, we say thank you. We say thank you, God. We say thank you, God. I know we say it, God. I know we tell you, God, thank you. I know we say we love you, God. But on this day, on this very day, God, we just want to say a special thank you. A special thank you, God. Because we realize, God, hallelujah, that we are in the month of new beginnings. Yeah. Hallelujah, God. New steps in our walk. Yeah. New attitudes. New mindset. New way of thinking. New way of building. New faith, God. New power, God. I thank you, God, for new anointing. Fresh oil from on high. We glorify you today. So God, for this, we say thank you. We say thank you, Lord God, hallelujah. Thank you for your promises. Thank you, Lord God, for loving us. Thank you, God, for keeping us. Thank you, Lord God, for your uh, for your keeping power. We don't look like what we've been through, God. And for this, we say thank you. I thank you, Father. Hallelujah, that the flood, hallelujah, did not drown us out. But God, I thank you because you are the lifter up of our heads. Hallelujah. And God, we love you today. And we thank you for what you are going to do yeah, in our lives, God. And even on today, we thank you, God. Hallelujah. How you're going. Yeah. How you're going to use the man of God here. I thank you for the download from heaven. I thank you, Lord God. I see you, God, on the throne. And God, you are saying, who will go for us? Who shall it We send. And I thank you, God, that we are the chosen ones. We are the ones, God, that we shall be the ones, God, that walk in love. We shall be the ones, God, that walk in the demonstration, God, of the full fullness of your power. I thank you, God, that you would use him on today, God, like never before. And God, I thank you for touching our hearts and our minds. Lord God, we are ready to receive what you have to say to us. 
Shetura Basheta, Gilida Bekata, he that hath an ear, let him hear Medabakotur de Beshe Mushita, what the Spirit of God has to say to the church. And God, we thank you. Sheka. Hey, Arabashe, Evangelist Sean, Evangelist Sean on deck, Evangelist Sean, eh, Sharabasi. Hallelujah, Restore. Yes, God, we thank you for total restoration. We will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We come against the Garabashata, the shadow of death, the Kolabaha, Yenano Motada Dada, Ikarita. We slice his head, Shota Labashete. You will not come to see EK. You will not, Labasha. We will see the goodness of the Lord, Ekarabasa, in the land. Of the living, the Karabasa. We come against sickness, Karabasa, that will hinder the restoration of that Abasa. Yes, God, whoever's been sick, who put your hand where, where, where to represent the power of God flowing right now. The spirit of healing, God's wings is spreading over you right now. Put your hand where the enemy has tried to attack your body. God Abasha, right now in the name of Jesus. Yalabasha, Tadabasha. We declare and decree healing, God Abasha. Spread your wings right now. We will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. It's the shadow of death. Sickness is the shadow of death. We will come against it. We are the people of God. We were the people of God. Lift up the standard of healing. In the name of Jesus, believe that you are healed. Stretch out to the back and believe God that you are healed. In the name of Jesus, we will see the goodness. We will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. God is going to do it for you. It called it a bullshit in Jesus' name. It don't know the bullshit. He go da 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 basa. He na 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 shata. Agree with your healing today. Agree with your healing today. Agree with your healing today. Da 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 basa. Agree. Come into agreement with your healing. Don't come into agreement with the doctor report or anything other negative report. Come into agreement with the healing power of God. In Jesus' name, Elder Joanne, Elder Joanne, woman of God, 
Hey, uh, let the wisdom of God just flow from your belly, woman of God, as you just give God the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you and praise you. Hallelujah. But we know that you're in charge, oh God. We know, hallelujah, that you're sovereign over everything, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for this is your day, hallelujah, that you have made, Lord God. We thank you for pouring out your spirit upon all flesh, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We receive your blessings this day. We receive, hallelujah, your instruction. We receive your, hallelujah, your anointed. We receive your mantle, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you right now, hallelujah for equipping this ministry right now, hallelujah, to do the great work you have called them to, oh God. We want to thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for the man of food being upon each and every one, hallelujah, as it's being poured out this day. We want to thank you, Lord God, for the blessings, hallelujah. We want to thank you, Lord God, that we will be blessed to be a blessing to others, Lord God. We want to thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for just moving by your spirit, hallelujah, in Increase, ha ha, increase, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you as you anoint our, our prophet today, Lord God, with your word, Lord God. We want to thank you, hallelujah, for we know we can hear from heaven. Hallelujah, heaven speak today. Heaven speak, ha ha, speak into our hearts, our minds, and our souls, and our spirit, hallelujah, and all things, hallelujah, pertaining unto godliness, hallelujah, shall come forth, hallelujah, and proclaim, hallelujah, what thus saith the Lord, hallelujah, and will proclaim, hallelujah, every declaration, hallelujah, every promise, hallelujah, everything that's been set before us, hallelujah, shall come to pass. We shall not leave this earth without fulfilling that which God has called us to. Hallelujah. And I want to thank you, Lord. I want to glorify you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We want to thank you, Lord God, as we be stirred up to tell our story, Lord God. My God, the story, hallelujah, will be anointed, Lord God. The poetry will be anointed, Lord God. Every word that proceedeth out of our mouth, hallelujah, shall be anointed, Lord God. It shall come forth as fire, hallelujah. Shut up in our bones, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we want to give you glory. We want to give you praise. Oh God, we want to give you everything that we got, Lord God. This day, <laughs> this day, Lord God, hallelujah. Have your way in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. But I want to thank you in the name of Jesus, all oh, the name of everything. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Oh God, I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. Woo, glory. Oh, we thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you. Oh, glory. Evangelist De Brea, are you available to pray, woman of God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about Dr. Johnson. Father, She's in traveling. the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. And I praise you and I glorify you, my God. I thank you, my God, for every prayer that has gone up to the throne of grace. I thank you, my God, that the heavens have opened up, my God, upon each and every one of my God. I thank you, my God, because the blood has never lost its power in the name of Jesus Christ. No matter what it seems like, no matter what we may feel, my God, it is well in the name of Jesus Christ because everything that has been stolen from us everything that has been held back my god i thank you my god because you have freed it in the name of jesus christ i thank you my god for apostle my god i thank you for my prophet my god i thank you for the cek members my god i thank you my god that they're covered my god you're holding them in the hands of your protection my god you did not bring us this far to leave us now in the name of jesus christ i thank you my god our strength is coming my god our strength is here my god i thank you my god for restoration my god i I thank you, my God, everything that we need, my God. You say, get asked and believe, and it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, I thank you for the word going forth, my God, like never before in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you for a fresh anointing, my God, coming to pump prophet right now. Oh, my God. 
from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, my God. I thank you, my God, as he, my God, is sitting before your feet, my God. You're pouring in the word, my God. We thank you for a free course, my God. We thank you, my God, that we're coming to receive thus says the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us have ears to hear, my God, and let we apply it and appropriate it to our lives, my God. It shall not fall on shallow ground. My God is falling on good ground in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, my God, because by your strike, we are already healed. I bind every infirmities, disease, sickness, my God, anything that is not of you shall not and will not be prosperous, my God. It shall not come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. For eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what you have in store for this ministry, my God, because, my God, you designed this ministry for this dimension, for this season, my God, for this decade. I, I'm a loss, 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 hey. In the name of Jesus Christ. So, Father, I thank you and I praise you, my God. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah, God. Hey, and I'm Asi. God, we thank you. Come on through here, Dr. Johnson and bless the people. Y'all check your inboxes, please, and respond. Glory, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. If somebody can get Isaiah 43, 18 and Isaiah uh, 61, 7, glory be to God, hallelujah. That word in Amos has me just fired up because I'm telling y'all I have experienced, I did not know why I was so excited about my birthday. I had this, un, it was just something I had never experienced before. And it was just this feeling, this anticipation. And it's just been since even the beginning of the year that, you know, there was just this anticipation of just joy and, and blessing. And I have, and, and this is just purely uh, for, for testimony sake. You know, I mean, this is purely that God, he, he will restore. He will restore. He will give beauty for ashes. He will be able to, to and, and what, what God showed me was, um, because the first scripture, if somebody can read that, if somebody can read that it. for me. Uh-huh. Isaiah, okay, 40, Isaiah 43, 18. Yes. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. My God, listen, <laughs> that is like the prerequisite. That's the prerequisite to receive the new is do not remember. Do not remember the former things. God wants us to let those things pass away. The only reason why we bring up the former things is for testimony purposes only. Do not remember them. Do not hold on to them. You got to release the former things. God showed me while I was on this vacation, which I'm going to tell y'all, I, I, it's nothing that I could have anticipated. It was nothing that I even asked for. It was nothing that I, when, when God says that I will do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ever ask or think, I never asked for it. I never, I never thought about it. I never even, I heard of the island before. That was it. I never even looked it up on Google. I never seen the shores or anything like that. To, to even have that, you know, in, in my heart, it had never, it never even entered into my heart. And, and so God invited me. He invited me to that blessing. He, he had that surprise for me. He had that surprise in, in I beheld with my eyes. And if you've been following me, you saw the pictures. They do no justice. They do no justice. And I, I never could have could have even imagined when um, when my best friend of, of 24 years, you know, said, you know, would you would you like to go, you know, to to Turks and Caicos for your birthday instead of me coming there for your celebration in in August, you know, instead because it was going to cost her like 
$2,000 to come. And she said, I can just, you know, or would you like me to treat you? And I was just like, of course, you know, it is just like, I didn't even have to think about it, but it was just something that was just so, it, it was, it was just so unexpected. And that's why I put show and tell, because sometimes you, you gotta, you have to show, you know, when, when God said for us to let our light shine, he's saying, show the, show the glory, show the glory. And then tell the people, tell the people. And, and I just, you know, when, when I look at it, you know, I, I beheld such beauty that words cannot describe. And God just said to me, new eyes. I, I'm giving you new eyes to see, new eyes to see what, what I, the beauty that I have put into your life, the blessings that I have bestowed upon you. And so we, we can't remember, we can't, we can't remember, we gotta forget those, those years of pain. We have to forget those years of, of being a prisoner in Zechariah, it talks about, you know, um, you, you, you prisoners, you know, and, and um, that I will, I will restore unto you double, double uh, prosperity. I will restore to you. I will, I will, you know, I, I will do this for you. You know, because we we know the stories of the ch children of Israel. We know the 400 years. We know the pain. But he's saying, listen, what I'm going to do for you is going to be even more than what you can e even imagine. But you got to forget. You got to forget all that you that you that you went through in order for you to be whole, in order for you to see that I'm doing a new thing. It says, behold, I'm doing a new thing. I believe that's in. In, in in verse 19 shall you shall you not know it do you not perceive it and maybe you know god is doing god is doing trying to do these new things but because you won't let go of the old because you won't let go of the former because you won't you you won't you won't you won't forget it not only forget it forgive it you know for, forgive and forget you know, that all you see is the pain that you have endured. And so we got to be able to step into the double push. He said a double prosperity. I mean, I, I'm, my God, it, it just, it just opened up something in me that he needed me to see, to take me to the next level. And, you know, I talked about the blessing. I don't know if I did or not, but, you know, I was blessed. I was blessed by my parents you know, with the, you know, with the sum of money and it just, you know, it just blessed me. It blessed me because I, I you know, there were, again, there was no expectation, you know, my, I told y'all about my car and, you know, my grandfather, you know, um, you know, purchasing a car and, you know, releasing that to me this year. And so, just you know flat out and, and and you know i don't owe anything and god just you know god just restored you know he just restored and he's continuing he's continuing to bless me and i want you to look at that i want you to look at that because it, you know a lot of people when they think of restoration they think of they think of the former thing being better but you gotta look at that again because it is it is really to to bring you bring you back to to the place you know of of blessing is to bring you back into the place of eden is to bring you back into the place of of uh, of prosperity and flourishing and uh and, and being the lender and not the borrower you know what i'm saying and so when we have when we take a look at that don't look at it as as like somebody's restoring a piece of furniture something's being refurbished no 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 receive restoration in a double job job uh, uh uh um he got new things he got new things he got a double portion of new things everything was destroyed in his life he got a double portion of new things and so so I, I read that isaiah 61 7 um because i'm telling you i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna release 
to y'all because I ha- I have to I have to try to to translate. I have to try to translate this new um and 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 y'all will get more on the 21st when I when I speak. But yeah. I have to I have to translate it because it's it's what's been in my spirit. Because if we don't if we don't grasp it, if we don't if we're not able to to really embrace it and, and, and get a full understanding in our spirit, then the possession the possession of it will, will still be at far reach for it. And yeah. and so we have to be able to embrace it. What's the Isaiah 61? It says instead, no, this is this word was prophesied to me. This is my word. I love it. Instead of your shame, you shall have double honor. And instead of confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess double. Everlasting joy shall be theirs. Yes. Yes. We got to meditate on that thing. Because when I tell you, y'all, I, the joy, it's like, it, I already had joy, but, but when I tell you that it has, it, my joy has increased, y'all, it, it has, it has increased. I am, I'm not only full of joy, joyful, but I am happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Y'all, I know that that's a feeling. I know that that's an emotion. And I know that, you know, people say, oh, well, you know, that's temporary. No, not for me. The devil's a liar. The joy of the Lord is my strength and laughter is my portion and happiness is my portion double double i will i rebuke every day of of sadness i re, i rebuke every day of anger and disappointment i rebuke that's not in my life that's not my portion i have the joy of the lord i have the peace of god that surpasses all understanding that keeps my heart and my mind in christ jesus I am happy in the Lord. My God keeps me happy no matter what's going on around me. No matter what, I have his joy. I I was just like every day, I have no, I'm not one complaint. When I tell you that we had a a butler, when I tell, (laughs) I ain't never had no butler. I ain't never had no butler nowhere, okay? But we had a butler. We had a butler and I'm going to let my friend post what our suite looked like, but it was, it was so, it was so amazing. Everybody had their individual suites. I mean, it was, it was so beautiful. It was so amazing. 2,700 square feet of just nothing but immaculate in, in ocean view and wrap around balcony. And I'm telling y'all, when I, when I tell you that I have not ever had that experience and being served out to the, out to the beach and start this service, I said, God, in turquoise water, y'all, that the pictures, man, I can't even, I, I can't. I, I just, the beauty of God. And y'all listen, it was called Grace Bay. Grace Bay. Do y'all hear me? Grace, the number five, the number of favor, the number of grace in favor. What are the odds of that? What are the odds? Building five, what are the odds? Can y'all tell me what are the odds of that? In my 50th, my 50th, this is my year of Jubilee, but it continues. It's already been prophesied that it's not just a year, but it's a, it's a decade of overflow. It's a decade of it. It is a decade of it. And I, I just say that it continues for the rest of my life. I claim it. I claim it into perpetuity. I claim it into, into uh, infinity and beyond that I walk in, in the land of Canaan and into favor. And I'm going to share with y'all on, on Thursday. 
I start full time. I, I'm a full time professor at a state college in Florida. <laughs> That's unheard of, y'all. That's unheard of to come in and do one year as an adjunct and then give full time. It's unheard of. I already have my office. I'm going to go to my office tomorrow and start setting up my office. God, God, God is faithful. And I give him the glory. This is in route to a university professor. This is in route. My, my apostle has already <laughs> played the, the presidency of the university for me. I, I listen. I just I believe the I believe the Lord my God and the word of the prophet. I believe him. I believe God. I believe in 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 the word says that I shall prosper. I just want his will for my life and for him to order my steps each and every way, each and every day. Y'all pray, pray, pray for me. Pray for me, and I will surely pray for you. Because the joy that is overflowing is for the purposes of God's manifestation in, in my life, of his will, for his glory. Pray for me, and I will be sure to pray for you. Embrace the new. Embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace it. I love y'all. Oh, Dr. Johnson. Listen. <laughs> We need the 21st to come on now. Listen, oh my goodness, God, you are just, you know, each of you have so many powerful testimonies that just keep my heart just sure and full. Um, but that word you said so much, and that's revelation for us. This new, it requires new eyes in order to embrace the new things. The word already teaches us you have to have new wine skin to receive new wine, okay? The Lord has given her new joy, but it came with the new eyes. She chose to put on new eyes to, to have the faith to see, to follow the Lord. And then she is embracing new things. This has been an uncommon year for her, but the Lord gave her that word already about the rise of the uncommon. She's not only was the prophet to prophesy it, but she's the forerunner, the prototype. She is the one who is leading out in that. You got to understand, we believe in this ministry as prophetic people, that when God gives you a word, it's not just for you to pronounce it, but it's for you to manifest, manifest it as well. And to be the prototype. That's part of your leadership to be the prototype. Dr. Johnson has been and will remain an amazing leader in the kingdom, has been an amazing leader here at Crossover Empowerment Kingdom Ministries. Her testimony by itself, it just ministers so much strength to us. And we're thankful for you, Dr. Johnson. And of course, yes, we pray for you. We give God the glory for your life. We rebuke demons. We apply the blood and we decree and declare things over your life. And we go before and bust demons upside the head and clear the path for you to walk through because it's not my desire. It's just that God clearly shows me that you and each of, each of us are not just God's idea and a good idea, but we are God's best idea for the places that he has set us. He has set you in higher education and wherever you go, you are God's best idea for them. So at the State College of Florida, they don't know it, but kingdom people know that you are sent from God as God's best idea for them. Whether they see it or not, whether they respond to it or not, we'll pray that they respond to the leading of the Lord and receive the blessing of God, the blessing of the sent one. But God says that this anointing on you as college president is not strictly related to the state college of Florida. It is a call on your life. And the college that will receive that will receive you. So if they don't, it'll be somewhere else, but it is on you. The ministry is you and it follows you. 
It's not related to that place specifically, but it is his, you are the best idea for a college somewhere to go in and to, 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 to revamp systems and just to do things in a way that would uh, bring God's idea for education, uh -huh. God's idea for higher education. And so, but everywhere you go, you are God's best idea. And we not only love you here um, and need you, we actually want you. We feel when your presence isn't here, it's like, oh my God. So we were grateful that you had your time of refreshing. And I'm glad that you're back <laughs> because the oil, the presence, the anointing that you bring, you are part of the governmental structure here, um, apostle, prophet, and teacher. And you are definitely um, the uncommon and you are so important to us um, in so many ways. And we're grateful that God has given you new joy. And that you've gotten that double portion where it's now manifested into happiness. And that is a very important feeling to have. God, our emotions are very important to God. Our emotions speak to our internal spiritual state. And so it just, God is just saying that it's a sign that some one of those storms in your soul has found peace. Uh, God has been speaking peace, but you're like walking on the water now. And, and there's a peace there and there's just a happiness because, you know, the waters have been steeled and you can, you can just enjoy um, this, this, this victory in that area. So I just thank God. Father, I thank you for the woman of God. Thank you for all that you've done in her life. And I thank you that you've preserved her and you've blessed her and that this is not just her year, but this is her decade and I can't wait to share with you what the Lord revealed at the prophetic class about the decade, about the time that we're in. You are going to just be over the top. Uh, but this is your decade and God has blessed you in such a profound way to be a history maker in the kingdom, in this ministry, in the college, in your family, in your neighborhood, your community, with other businesses. You are just such a pivotal part. We just pray that God's blessings just be upon you um, and that he just continues to make you um, into a greater blessing and that you have the capacity to contain all of the blessing that he wants to pour into you so that your, your wine skins will always stay new. Your joy will always stay new. Your eyes will always stay new. So you can always behold the new things, former things. Yes. Like you said, they are the testimonies. They are the platform that you stand on, but they aren't your roof. They aren't your window. They aren't the things that you look through, the things that you look up to, but they are the things that you stand on that just elevate you. Hallelujah. And just make your voice amplified. So we just thank you, woman of God. We just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So Dr. Johnson is on her way to the sneaker ball, y'all know, because many of you gave to that um, initiative. So she'll probably have to hop off. It starts at two o'clock, but I just, I'm grateful that you were able to, to come in and share that with us and just set our hearts on fire. <laughs> <laughs> praise God, praise God. I love y'all so much. And y'all are a very important and intricate part of, of everything that, that happens in my life. I truly have, you know, continued to grow because I've continued to be fed. And I have continued to be to be strengthened and empowered and in you know, you and, and Prophet, I, I heard Prophet talking about the apostolic oil on Bishop and um, in, in realizing that. And I had her to, um, she actually, you know, prayed with me when I, when I went home. And, um, you know, I, I, you know, I'm realizing that, but do know that y'all are continuing that. Do know that you are continuing that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The authenticity is, is for legacy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. With no pretense, no expectation, just to glorify God. I only connect myself to real because I'm going to be real. 
I'm going to be real about my struggles and I'm going to be real about, about my humanity. I'm going to be real. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be fake. Like I got it all together. No, Jesus has it all together. And hallelujah, with all the fullness of God resting on the inside of you in profit. Uh, in on the inside of y'all and y'all are walking in that mantle don't you ever don't you ever doubt the flow don't you ever doubt the flow it, that it is continuous it is consistent because you are hooked to the vine and i'm telling you the excellency that we have been brought up in is manifesting in, in your walk and i pray that you continue to grow that you continue to grow leaps and bounds and that his grace and his favor rest upon you and in that the the true apostolic of of innovation and trailblazing and building all of the things that god has put on the inside of you that you will manifest it and in that it will be something it will be as a sign and a wonder to god it will be as that fruit and the fruit shall remain don't worry about who comes and who goes and why and what it's just that they could not bear they could not bear a, a, a it to to connect into the fullness of the oil because the the pressure the pressure for excellence is is in this ministry it is it is evident in your in your lives and and so whoever if you can't rock out then you're not the uncommon you're not the uncommon and it's okay it's okay because we are different we are different and it's not in comparison it's not in comparison it is in in the uniqueness to what god has called us to do and everybody everybody that is a part of this ministry i want y'all to hear this in the name of jesus your voice needs to be on wherever you are turn it on no longer will you be silent hallelujah about what god has done about what he is doing about your gifts about your calling that you will walk you will walk with authority there's nothing holding you back hallelujah hallelujah new eyes See with new eyes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory to God. I'm going off my listen. Before the man of God comes, he's getting ready to come and just take us the rest of the way. And my heart is full. I don't know about y'all. The Lord has flown, his spirit has flown through here. And um, and I want to just commend each of you for. Your, your walk with God, being people of integrity. There is no doubt. I'm looking at the names of those of you in this room. There's no doubt that you who are covered by our ministry, that who are covered under our ministry, there's no doubt. I have no doubt about your love for the Lord, <laughs> your witness if somebody was to come and ask you right now, why do you have joy? Why do you have hope? Why do you have peace? That you're going to name the name of Jesus. You're not going to name no other name. You're not going to talk about, well, my job pays me. You ain't going to do none of that. I know it's going to be Jesus and him alone. Hallelujah. And for that, I just give God the glory. And go ahead, Dr. Johnson. Um, I want to uh, see if Melissa was on. Hopefully she'll be able to give her testimony. So I want to just, you know, give God the glory for your lives. I want to challenge you to look at every area of your life and um, don't be satisfied or no longer make excuses for any of the areas that you know that you're not giving God your best or you're not doing your best for yourself, you know, if it's your diet, if it's whatever it is, just look at all the areas of your life and challenge yourself to come up to God's idea because he already said that you are a great idea and his best idea. There's some places he wants to take you 
that are going to require your participation, your full participation. And as Dr. Johnson said, one of them is, you know, giving our voice. You've been given the gift of the gospel of Jesus, the truth of salvation. And so you need to use whatever opportunities you have, whatever platforms you have to, to use your voice. We're not talking about necessarily a live, because if you may not like a live, but share from your heart, share words of encouragement, start doing those things that you can for those people that are looking for a witness. You may make a difference. There's a lot of people that respect you, Regis. Oh my goodness, that they, they respect you. I was somewhere yesterday and the woman just kept talking about how much she loved you, how much she respected you, how awesome of a woman you were, great mother you are, great neighbor you were, great, you know? So you have the leverage. Melissa, you have the leverage, Christian, uh, Pastor Robert, Markeva, all of us, we have this leverage. What are we doing with it? What are we doing with it? Challenge yourself to use your leverage Use the talent God has given you. Speaking of talent, talents aren't only gifts, tangible uh, uh, spiritual gifts, but they're also the tangible gifts. Challenge yourself in your giving. Challenge yourself in your giving. Some of you have already challenged yourself and we see, the, we see it because you're giving towards us and you're giving towards one another, okay? Because each other have different ministries and initiatives so Leslie has something going on. I could tell who, you know, you could see who, because she's posting, thank you, thank you, thank you for the giving. I thank you all for supporting those initiatives when different ministries are doing different initiatives. That's what we are supposed to do. But you want to make sure that you are continuing to be faithful in your giving to where you are growing. The word uh, uh, or the, the, the saying is you sow where you grow, right? So if you're growing, ask yourself, am I sowing? Because you should be sowing where you're growing. You should be putting seed in the ground where you feed. So you seed where you feed. So there's always a crop. There's always fruit and things available for you to, uh, to eat. Uh, and so we, we just thank you for your faithfulness in your giving. We thank you for your faithfulness, however you give. Some may be tithing and some may just be giving. We've already taught on the tithe before, right? So we know the freedom that we have in that, the freedom to give generously how the Lord leads us. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you now for all of the seed that has been sown into this fertile ground. We praise you, Father, for the sowing. Uh, we thank you, Father God, for giving seed to the sower and bread, Lord God, even bread to the eater. You've been faithful not to withhold from us what we need. Father, you said uh, in your word that, uh, 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 that there's never been the righteous that has been forsaken or, you know, or the seed of the righteous where, where they have to go begging bread. So we thank you, Father, for meeting our needs, Father. And we thank you, Father, for rebuking the devourer over the, the seed that is sown. For every household that is faithful in sowing their seed in the ground, you command the devourer be rebuked. So we thank you right now for rebuking the devourer over the seed sowers, Father God, and causing their seed, God, to reproduce seeds that reproduce seeds, Father God, that they will never be without the ability to, to be in the flow of, of seed time and harvest, seed time and harvest. So we thank you for those who enjoy, honor this ministry and, and honor this ministry's covering and prayer for them by in turn sowing seeds into this ministry. We sow seeds into them, they sow seeds into us and everybody stays fruitful and everybody has a plentiful harvest, but it all is for the glorifying and the uplifting, the edifying of the kingdom and the showing forth to the world, Lord God, our loyalty to you, our honor to you by us loving and caring for uh, uh, the things of God and one another in a way that honors everyone. So we thank you, God. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen and amen. So come on through here. You've had the luxury, man of God, of being silent for the last hour and 15 minutes. Now we have the luxury of sitting back and receiving from the poor that God is going to release through you. Come on through here, Prophet Jerry, um, and bless before us. I come forward, um, I see Minister Melissa is on. I mean, Sister Melissa is on. Um, and I want her to have an opportunity to share. What? Hello? Come on through here, Minister Melissa. <laughs> yes, yeah. regular. Hello. Hi. I just wasn't in. I wasn't in a good position, but I'm going to come on on. Um, so, yes, I'm um, giving honor to Christ and everyone on um, online today to Apostle and Prophet. Um, I have an amazing testimony. Um, so um, this morning I got up. Well, all weekend I've been in a prayerful state, been getting up early and, and fasting and praying and, and seeking God for the next season. Um of my life. Um, many don't know, but I've been dealing with um, chronic pain for almost almost three years now. So all weekend I've been anointing my joints, my back, my legs, you know, and then just anointing my feet and just asking God to just lead me, you know, through this um, next season of my life. So I got up this morning after that and I was like, you know, I'm going to get out and I'm going to go see a waterfall this morning, something that I haven't been able to do, like since I've been out here. That was one thing that I really enjoyed about Oregon was being able to get out, get out and just enjoy the beauty, God's beauty of nature. So this morning, um, you know, that's why I had an uh, inbox apostle and told I was on some back roads because these back roads are like, like a, a you know, it's a lot of curves and, and it's like cliffs almost. So I had to really pay attention. But you know, the devil was trying to throw me a trap at me too, even with trying to push and press, you know, for my healing and my restoration as Sean was praying at this morning. That's what I was praying this morning was my prayer, you know, for a full restoration in my body because where I'm going, I need to be able to move, um, you know, to do the things of God, you know, and to help God's people. So um, and saying that, um, also, you know, when I speak of the next, you know, chapter of my life, um, you know, I have to introduce that, um, <laughs> that I'm now loading, you know, a new chapter of, um, becoming Dr. Melissa Bernard, <laughs> that, um, I will be starting school, you know, the end of the month. So I was praying, Lord, move this brain fog, move this fatigue, remove this pain, you know, because I got to move, you know. So, you know, I just been really, really like focusing, you know, and praying, you know, on that this morning. So I'm so grateful because, you know, I had Dr. Ty helping me with my essay and I was getting a little frustrated. I'm like, this shouldn't be that hard. It's just a little essay, you know. So, um, but we made it through, praise God, and I got my acceptance letter like two, three days later. Um, so, yes, I'm accepted into a doctorate of nurse um, um, practice leadership program starting um, um, August 29th. So, you know, continue to pray for me and um, lift me up in prayer. And I'm just grateful to God for, you know, all the doors that he's opening and, you know, even out here. You know, I'm so grateful because so many people stop me every day and tell me, you know, how proud they are, you know, happy that I'm working like where I'm at. Because even with that, he opened up a door, you know, for me, specifically me, Black little me, you know, to come up in this place, you know, as the, you know, a Black female and to have so many people, nurses saying how grateful they are because the, um, the male anesthesiologists have kept us out of this place. As when I say us, it means see, you know, you know, people like me, uh, certified nurse um, anesthetists, um, you know, that can do the same job as they're doing, but it's all, you know, just monopolizing, you know. But God broke that barrier, and He used me as the first one to walk in that door, you know. So I'm just grateful, to, you know, for all that you know God is doing in my life. And I have to say one last thing. I was out in the woods and I was trying to get out and get to that waterfall. So this morning and I had packed up my, um, my little bag and I forgot my purse. I got 
way out in the woods and realized that I didn't even have my purse. I barely had a quarter of a tank of gas. And I was praying all the way home, Lord Jesus, just don't let me run out of gas because no one would know where I'm at, <laughs> you know, in these woods. And I tell you, he carried me all the way back. I'm just leaving the gas station now on that tank of gas. I had to get out, run in and get my car, get my money and, you know, come and fill my tank up. <laughs> so I'm just grateful to God for all that he's doing for me, through me. Um, and just, um, you know, looking forward to what else, what all he has in store for me as I start this, um, you know, this next journey. I'm just grateful. Thank you. Amen. Amen. God is amazing. We are so grateful for just the testimony of everybody and, and the joy of the Lord that we are experiencing. I mean, come on, man. I'm encouraged. I'm excited, especially, especially with the, the word that I have today that I have been um, studying out. But well, probably won't get to that portion of it, but we're going to go with what we are able to recognize the season that we're in and knowing that just hearing these testimonies is speaking volumes of what God says his word to be true. And this, and in this, I've heard favor and new beginnings, you know, and, and this, and in the, in the month of Oz, which is in the Hebrew calendar, it speaks of it being the fifth month. Follow me, y'all. It being the fifth month, but in the world calendar, it's the eighth month. The fifth and the eighth. We're talking about favor and new beginnings. The favor of the Lord and the new beginnings. And it's parallel. And, and it's funny how the spiritual realm is parallel with the natural in our lives for those that will, will believe God and have the faith to, to receive what says the Lord concerning us. And so what I wanna do is, is just move into the understanding of the significance of the Hebrew tribes and its months. And, um, and, and I believe Apostle let me come back next week and continue the the, uh, the message that I, that I want to trail with this, okay? But I want to just get this out because I, I, I find this to be, you know, not happenstance that we, we hear all of what's going on in the life of those that are, are believers, especially those that have uh, trusted and, and have faith for the things of God and really walking in the manifestation of the blessings and seeing the release of the blessings on our lives, the favor, because what we've stood in proxy and believing what God said about us, amen? And so in the um, Hebrew calendar, this month being the fifth month, the month of Av, and it runs from July to August. And if I'm not mistaken, Apostle, the seventh is the, um, somebody help me here, my scholars. The seventh of the beginning of the month of August. And the day is what? What's today's day? The seventh? Yeah. And I want to parallel this thing. I want to. And, and you know what, in, in the message that I was going to uh, go into after the reading of this, the, the Hebrew calendar date, it talks about mm. in Numbers chapter 13 and 14, we talk about, it talks about how the unbelief was one of the reasons why the children of Israel walked in that state instead of going into the promised land because of their unbelief. And he's talking about the uh, the 12 spies that sent out to spy out the land. But um, I'm gonna just go with this and then we will get to that uh, next week. Cause we, uh, 
running tight in time. So the alphabet Tihi resembles a womb, a month when earth contracts. The secret of pregnancy moves into the earth realm. The tribe is Simeon to hear, be concerned. Characteristics, the month you metamorphose or disintegrate. The month the lion roars. And you can read that in Amos chapter three, verse eight. The month where God destroys so he can reconstruct. Consider what you hear and determine how to develop a new level of discernment or oppose counsel and advice. Listen carefully. You will hear key impressions this month. The consolation is Leo the lion the divine will of the father being executed. The color, the stone is green and emerald. So the Hebrew, the Hebrew month of Av is the fifth of the 12th month of the Jewish calendar. The name Av means, the name Av literally means father. Av derives from the root, which means to will or to desire. This money is the low point of the Jewish calendar. The ninth of Av was the day the people of Israel choose to receive the negative report of the 10 spies and refuse to enter the promised land. This date was also marked by the destruction of both the first and the second temple in Jerusalem. So if you study the history of the Jews, you discover that the Jews are caught in cycles of destruction. So that went on throughout the years and still have a, a, a place in the Jewish calendar and the history of the Jews. But we're going to move forth with it. With the ninth of Av was the date of Israel's sin of unbelief at Kadesh Benares. God had brought Israel out of Egypt by his mighty power. He showed them his faithfulness, his faithfulness in the wilderness and taught them at Sinai and revealed his glory. Now we was talking about the joy of the Lord. When you when you've been able to see the glory of God in your life and on your life, you cannot unsee that. You 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 have to have a listen. That's why it behooves me sometimes when we 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 get to a place after seeing God's glory on and in our lives that we tend to get beside ourselves, I would say, to that now we, we don't have that, that glow that, that, that from seeing the glory of God and the joy of the Lord continually being the strength that we walk in, that we so easily get beset because the enemy saw opportunity to come in and, and, and flick you an obstacle to that now we just, uh, you know, and wasn't consistent with what we was doing prior to seeing the glory, seeing the, the, the manifestations of what God has already done and the promises that he said he will do. So the spies went in and brought back samples of the fruit of the land, they said, this is a wonderful, fruitful land, just as God promised. But 10 other spies added, we don't have the strength to take the land. Two of the spies gave the, the minority report, God can give 
the land unto our hands. Can you can you just understand after they don't been into the wilderness for years on top of years and seeing the manifestations of the blessings and the glory. When I say the glory, I mean the signs and the wonders and the joys of the Lord that they've experienced. They've had the, the lesson, I'm gonna go. And so, but 10 of the spies added, we don't have the strength to take the land. But two of the spies gave the minority report, God can give the land into our hands. As so often happens, there was a voice of faith and a voice of unbelief. When this happens, we need to be careful to choose correctly. So on the night of Av, Israel chose to listen to the voice of unbelief. So the month of Av was originally intended to be the month that Israel entered the promised land. God plans, God plan had been that every year Av would be the month to celebrate his goodness. So listen, I want you to catch that. That was God's plan for the children of Israel. That is God's plan for us. That plan did not get beset because the children of Israel had that unbelievable moment at their, their stage in life. But then God's words continue. It's a continuing process of word that allows us to be able to receive for those that will walk and believe and have the faith and the trust of God will be able to receive the manifestations of the same blessings. And so we are in that month of awe, the month of favor. So what report would you get? What minority report you will receive? So there is nothing too big for our God to accomplish in our life. If we have the faith to continue to walk it out, to trust him and come in alignment with the agreement between heaven and earth. Yes and amen. And receive the blessings of the Lord. And receive it. And so God designed uh, to be the month to celebrate entering into the promise. But instead of believing God, the people agreed with unbelief and gave a negative confession. They said, the enemy is too strong for us. We will all die. They tasted the fruit of the land, but refused to enter. They held back in unbelief. And by doing that, they put themselves under a curse. So I want to encourage you just to understand that. You have this same option, the same ability and the measure of blessings and promises to receive the true report of the Lord or give or, or receive the, the false report. Because there is, there is promises that God has given us. And if we miss that opportunity for that promise to be manifested in our life at the time that we believed him and then got beset and now we don't have the ability to remember that I've seen the glory of God. I've seen the manifestations of the deliverance, the restoration, the blessings that he have on my life. So what made you take a, 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 a report of unbelief? What, what would make you feel that God would not do this thing if he did that thing or those things? 
Those things were this, the glory of God that he showed you the favor that you have on your life, in your life. So don't bring a curse on your blessings and your promises as the children of Israel did. They willingly brought a curse. They willingly denied the promises of God. So every year of the, of the ninth of Av, Israel find that their enemies are too strong for them and they die. So as the Hebrew four one through two, uh, one through two explains, paraphrasing, they refuse to mix the promise with faith. The result was that the month of Av became a month of mourning and destruction. That's what they brought upon themselves because they refuse to mix the promise with faith. The promise, mix the, the promise with faith. It would take faith for us to receive the promises of God. It would take trust, amongst other things. And first and foremost, to have the faith, you must have seen the glory of God in your life, on your life. Oof. Glory to God, I thank you. Said so because of their sin on that day, Israel spent 40 years in the wilderness. At the end of that time, God, in his grace, gave them a second chance to enter. God is a God of second chances, y'all. But they never truly repented of the sin. So every year, the cycle comes back around. And the window of destructions open again. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping y'all hearing this because here it is. God is no respect of person. If he did it for them, he'll do it for us. So when that window, that opportunity come again, are, are we going to allow it to be a window of destruction? Or we going to put our faith on the promise and see the manifestations of another part of God's glory on our life? And it's funny how God will wait for us. He'll wait for us to get in line and get in position. So when that things cycle back around. If you've gotten yourself in position, there's a reciprocity, y'all, with God. There's a reciprocity. There, there's a requirement, you know? You know, just like in the words say, if my people who are called by my name do this, that, and the third, they will hear from heaven. So when we get out of alignment, that don't mean that our relationship is over and destroyed, is that we have Paul's the promise and the manifestation of the blessings on our lives because we are out of line. We're not in alignment. When that cycle come back around, we're not in alignment to be able to receive that blessing. So when you don't repent of the sins of the past, Satan is free to bring the curse of that sin back around on you. And the doors of destruction remains open. And when I read that, I understood it. Because the way you know you've repented from the actual thing that holding you back from progressing and moving forward in your life is that you keep repeating the same thing over and over and over. But then in the beginning of my walk, I understood that if I'm not making progress in a season in my life, whatever you do, don't go back. Don't take a step back 
Stand in the position that you're in and continue to press forward and trusting and believing God because of this season, maybe that season of destruction that the window is open, but you don't have to allow it to take the, uh, your progress down. Keep the progress. Don't allow the enemy to beset you, to take you back. Don't stay in that repeated cycle because God is there to allow us to come in his timing. Because in everything that we do in our, our kingdom walk, especially as leaders, we have to build the capacity to carry the glory, to carry the glory of the Lord. When I mean, what I mean by that, we, we see we see the blessings, we see the manifestations of God favor on our lives. And, but then if you haven't built the capacity to understand that there's more, you will stop at just that. You'll stop at just that. And not have no expectations of anything more, but everything less. And that's not what God wants for us. There are so many promises. And as we see this report of the month of Av, the month means favor, Father, His will. Come on. And in just understanding that, we, sh we, we are assured the promises of God. By understanding the expectations, the character, and the will of God. I don't know how they didn't get that memo in, in the wilderness. When they got a cloud by day and fire by night, that's seeing the glory of God. Getting manna from heaven, being fed and ain't working, doing no kind of Nothing, ain't, ain't, ain't planting no seeds. It's just the love and the glory of who he is that the people receive this. <laughs> and so, as I say, there's God is no respect to person. He did it for them. He'll do it for us. And they was a wicked, stiff-necked people. But he, uh, and it, we will get deeper into that in the message, as, as I said, because I didn't want to just give you the, 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 the significance of the Hebrew calendar month, but I wanted to just <laughs> lay a foundation of what this month actually means. And in, and in the, uh, uh, the Hebrew calendar and in the natural, it's, it's a parallel. It's a five and eight. And every year, this thing recycles. It recycles. So in the, in the, in the natural calendar, it's new beginnings. It's the eighth month. It's new beginnings. But in the same, it's a, it's a spiritual condensation to what we ought to believe and understand is God's natural ability to give us favor if we have desires for new beginnings in our life. Uh, my God. So listen, when we continue to understand who we are and whose we are and how he has chosen to be what he is for us and to us and how when we miss the bus, the bus cycle back around and we'll still be allowed to get on and get to that appointed destination. The faith bus, y'all, the faith bus, <laughs> the trust bus going on a, on 5th and 8th Street, trusting and believing that the favor and the new beginnings on 5th and 8th Street. So when that cycle back around, get on the bus. Don't go backwards because ain't nothing back there on, on mile zero. <laughs> That's when we went in uh, Key West, mile zero. 
I mean, you was at the end of it. You was at the end of the, of the state of Florida at mile zero. But I said that to say that you don't want to repeat cycles that you've overcome and you've seen the glory of God bring you from. And yes, Doc, it's amazing how you have received that understanding of the, the new eye to see the, the joy of the Lord. And that's what has been your strength. And I'm so, I'm so excited for you in, in, in knowing how real you has been with God and how real you have been with yourself about circumstances and situations that occurs and occurred in your life and how now the glory of God is on your life as, mm, put, on, put on your veil, girl, because you're shining. The, the glory of the Lord is just radiant. <laughs> and I know that God is who he say he is. And I see that y'all believe it. Because he's manifesting those things that you have believed. Yes, Melissa. Yeah, little old you. He chose little old you to be that first. You are God's best idea for that place. You think you have all those gifts and talents for just Melissa? No. God have purpose and use for you. You are walking in the direction that he's called you in the spirit and in the natural. Change makers are God's people. People of the kingdom of God are agents of change. Ah, Agents of change. If we can believe in and trust and have the faith of the promises that God has announced in our hearing, after he's shown you his glory, Cloud by day, fire by night. The miraculous miracles that he's shown in your life may not been a cloud, may have not been a cloud of fire, but I know you've seen that you are kept by the Lord in your right mind, in your abilities, in your desires. Uh, and if you have desires beyond your capacity of understanding, that's the Lord. That's the Lord. He's asking you to believe him. He's asking you to trust him. He's put something in your spirit that so far beyond your comprehension of reaching or desiring. Where did that come from? I don't, I don't have a bachelor's of science. I don't have a, 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 a degree in, in, in doctoral or something and you know, another, but if it dropped in your spirit and you've been believing and trusting God, you are the vessel that he has deposited <laughs> purpose for this earth, for that university doc, uh, for that hospital, Melissa. God has deposited <laughs> glory. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Glory. Mm. And then in, 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 in our walk, as we move forward, when we stand in proxy for others, when we celebrate others, uh, there's a return in favor for your joy, because the joy to see the, 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 the progress and the, and, the, and the processing of someone's life is better and better, and you celebrate that, there's a reciprocity even in that, because that's who God is. The angels in heaven celebrate you. That makes, that makes God excited. Are we exciting God? Are we bringing joy to him? When he bring the joy and the, and the 
in the favor on our lives? Are we continuing to say, yes, Lord, thank you, Lord, and express the joy that when someone see you and the glory of God shone in upon your face in your life, when you walk in the room and the light light up, the room light up, that's the Lord showing his presence in your life, on your life. Yeah, you're cute and everything, but it wasn't that cuteness that got you. Your, your here's the turn. It was something about you that brought something to the mind of someone that has been troubled. And I think about the, 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 the people sitting by the, the pool of Mephesma when their water is troubled. When there's a, 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 a troubled spirit and when you walk in the room, hope comes, peace comes, joy comes. Uh, walk in it. Walk in it for the Lord. <laughs> Be that vessel. You carry the anointing of healing, deliverance, ah, joy. Oh, let me get back to this thing right here. Um, so, but the word assures us that one day Israel will turn and believe in Jesus as Messiah. Like Israel in Joshua's days, a future generation will enter in. And when that happens, the ninth of our curse will finally be broken. Are we breaking that curse? We that generation. We're breaking that curse. So when it cycles back around, are we going to be in a position to receive manifested blessings of the Lord, the favor, the new beginnings? And this is a yearly occurrence that God gave Israel the opportunity to repent and to receive the fullness of the manifested promises that was already there. And it's funny how God just don't give you nothing. He ain't gonna just give you, because you haven't built the capacity to understand the value. So then therefore you will carry his name as we were so uh, 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 blessed to have the understanding that we are named in his name. And when you carry the name of Jesus, do you know what you carry? Do you know the authority? Do you know the, 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 the curse breaking, the, the, uh, the, the deliverance that can take place? Do you know? Woo! I'm not always conscious of it, but I know. Because this human flesh, this, this human suit, sometimes somebody might come at me sideways and I, and I have to, oh, I'm a witness for the Lord. I have to be an example of who he is, mercy and grace. He gave me, so why not give that? Instead of anger, slander, a uh, good but whipping, you know, just give mercy, give grace. But even God, in those in those wilderness times, God wanted to whip them. He listen, we'll get into that next week. Because let me tell you something: God is a God of grace and mercy. But you don't want to, you don't want to get it twisted. Oh, my God. So listen, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. So God still wants us to be a month of blessing, celebration of his goodness. Ob is a month that presents us with a choice. We can choose to receive a curse. We can choose to break a curse, we can choose to believe God's promise. We can choose to enter God's blessing. So receive his promise and mix it with faith this month. Yeah. 
So Av is the month of Simeon. You know how he messed up. But God has the redemptive power for Simeon. He, he was grafted into an inheritance. And so, you know, the funny thing, we are engrafted into an inheritance. An inheritance. We, we see these tribes of Israel, and, and we are lineages of those tribes. Those tribes are lineages of Abraham. And because of Abraham's relationship with God, and because of God and Jesus' desire for us, we are that humanity that has been redeemed and the redemptive power of God is in the earth for our lives. How much we mess up. But when we come to that place of repentance, when we come to that place of asking forgiveness, and God is quick to forgive and to forget. But there's nothing that would not go unpunished. And there's nothing that we can work out for our soul salvation, but we can walk out our soul salvation and walk into the, the, the righteousness of Christ. Amen. So though, therefore, anytime we agree with him, with Satan, I will say that we allow ourselves to, to be caught back up in that destruction mode. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I, I don't have the means. I don't have the understanding. I don't have. When we come to that place, that's the opportunity for Satan to come in and distort your thinking and your ability to remember the glory and the redemptive power God has shown you. That there is no good thing that he will withhold from you. So, but when we allow Satan back at that root that we haven't quite let dug up, that gives us doubt, that gives us unbelief. When we dig up that root of unbelief from our faith bank or our thought process, psh, you're going by this bend. That don't mean that he won't try because he, he's always, you, you, you have his imps assigned to you to make sure that you don't come to the fullness of the understanding of who you are in the earth as a vessel that is willing to carry the glory of God and the joy of the Lord as your strength. <laughs> my God, my God, my God. So therefore at any time we agree with him, a root forms, this is why we must deal with the roots in our generation. So this is also why God would deal with you all year long and give you opportunities to repent and be delivered. He can always deliver you, but you must choose to walk in freedom. Av is a month to hear and understand. You must decide what you have heard. If a word has been given and you decide not to heed the word, this is the month where your consequences begin. <laughs> My God. So there are certain patterns between heaven and earth that God sets up based on our response to a sovereign God, we change the atmospheric conditions around us. You can always look at sovereign happenings this month. What I mean by sovereign happenings is that God makes decisions to do certain things based upon what we have decided at other times. That we are making decisions which will manifest sooner or later. God is not a God who just turns his head away and let us do what we wanna do. He records 
what we do in a book. It is written. It is written. So there are times when God say, let's just tear that one up and start over. Have you ever tried to do something that is just not going to work? God trying to build something in you, but you're trying to build something for yourself. And if you're not allowing yourself to be in adherence to what the word of God has auctioned in your spirit, direction that he would allow you to uh, choose to go, make a decision. You, you know, just like the decision that I was just reading about, you make choices. You can choose to receive a curse. You can choose to break a curse. You can choose to believe God's promise. And we can choose to enter God's blessings. That's the God we serve. The God of choices. You choose whom you will serve. So Bible is written to show us how covenant works. This is the month where kingdom advance. This is the month where kingdom advances through partnership. Again, be very aware of your partnership during this month. Watch your alignment. The Hebrews associate all with a new level of discernment. And this month, you are developing a new level of discernment. Or you are opposing counsel and advice. If you look back in your life, you can identify times when people gave you counsel and advice but you thought you knew more than anyone else and did not act on the advice. The Bible says in Psalms 32 that he takes hold of the reins of your life and guide you by his eye. In this process, if you have not allowed him to work with you, then you are resisting his leading like a horse or a mule that has to be harnessed. The Lord will give us a chance to follow him and go through things, but sometimes resistance to his leading is going on. Use wisdom and allow the Lord to guide you and horn you and horn your discernment for these critical days ahead. Let's not be that one that God has to bridle to guide you as you were a horse or a mule to get the work done, to move the load. Make wise choices. Take wise counsel. Heed the advice of those that have blazed that, blazed that trail that you are headed towards. Don't allow the cycle of destructions to come and you're not in position to receive the opportunity to choose who you will serve and what choice you will make. Choose blessings. Choose to break curses. Choose the name of Jesus. <laughs> I'm done, Apostle, for now. Um, time is on my heels and I want to go um, to continue this in the book of Numbers and we will go a little bit deeper to get a, a, a greater understanding of what the children of Israel had not had the ability to see the favor of God and the new beginnings 
that was presented to them. They didn't choose wisely. And they had many choices, but they choose a curse. They choose unbelief. Mm. They chose to die in their mm. mess. My God, this is so powerful, man of God. Listen, uh, you didn't say the title, but you, you said it at the end. You said we serve a God of choices. So this word is about the God of choices. I'm like, this is so good. Um, choose blessing, choose to break the curse. To, you know, don't choose death. And the word of God tells us he choose, he sets before us each day, life or death. He encourages us to choose life. But I thank you so much for, because today is the ninth of Av. So everybody needs to understand I think the first of all was like July 28th or July 29th, something like that. So today literally is the 9th of Av on the, on the Hebrew calendar. So as the man of God pointed out, that is the day. Oh my goodness. The 9th of Av was the date that um, Israel sinned at Kardesh Barnea, but God showed them this. I'm reading from the notes. God showed him uh, showed them his faithfulness in the wilderness and taught them at Sinai and revealed his glory. Um, but they chose not to, to, you know, uh, perceive and um, just to stand on what they knew of God. We see here um, that there's several events so it's not just here. This was the first one. But after that, as the man of God has said, the cycles around, there's this spiritual uh, season that is out there where the enemy has, does, you know, has more industry and has more, more um, opportunity to, to beset us in these cycles. I thank you, Prophet, for for, for putting things in such a, a way. I loved it when you said the, the there's the, the faith bus, okay? This is the season where the faith bus comes. And you said to get on the faith bus. And you also called it the trust bus um, because it cycles around, back around uh, each year. And it comes to the location of 5th and 8th Street, okay? <laughs> I love how God had gave that to you as you were speaking and that right there at the intersection of grace and new beginning, okay? The place where God gives us grace for new beginning, we need to get on the faith bus, on the trust bus. And you said, do that. Don't repeat cycles of unbelief. Like that person is standing at the bus stop and it's like, I don't know if I want to get out. I don't think, well, maybe, maybe just one more year. Just give me a little more time or I don't think I'm ready or I'm not smart enough or I don't have the degree or whatever it is that we tell ourselves and we don't get on that bus. But this is the opportunity. This is the season where God gives us an impartation of grace specifically for that new beginning, for that new thing. And we see the woman of God talked earlier about how she received the gift of new eyes. God is always offering us new eyes, put new eyes on so that we can see what has always been there. But you can't see it with the old eyes. You will always see the old paradigm, the old everything, the old excuses, the old, all of that stuff. They said, put on those new eyes so you can see the new thing. You just bless me so much. Y'all, you need to understand how serious this is. Today is the ninth of all. So I believe that the Lord is giving you an opportunity to make a decision today. A decision today to break cycles, to break curses, to not choose the curse, but choose the blessing. It tells us these are the following events. Some of the following events that took place on the ninth of all with Israel that shows forth this cycle of destruction that they kept themselves under. So not only did it happen at Kadesh Barnea, but um, five, uh, Av 9, 587 BC, the armies of Babylon destroyed Solomon's temple. Av 9, AD 70, the Romans destroyed the second temple. Av 9, AD 
135, the final defeat of Jews by Rome. Avnine, AD 1095, the first crusade is launched, which kills thousands of Jews. Avnine, 1290, the Jews are expelled from England. Avnine, AD 1492, the Jews are expelled from Spain. And then on Avnine, in AD 1942, the Jews were deported from the Warsaw ghetto to the death camps. And finally, in 2005, on Avnine, the expulsion of Jews from Gaza began. There's these cycles, and, and I know in individual lives, people could see these cycles as well. But we are breaking the cycles, and what the man of God has done today is he's reminded us each year, we usually talk about uh, the month of Av because it's such a powerful month. But each year, though we may be repeating these truths, God gives us fresh revelation and fresh perspective on it. And we thank you, man of God, for your fresh uh, perspective so that we can come break some cycles in our life that have had us bound. Um, one of the things I want to lift up and I want to give somebody else a chance is um, this is what I have written down from when you were talking. They tasted the fruit of the land but refused to enter. They held back in unbelief. And by doing that, they put themselves under a curse. Unbelief put themselves under a curse. They refused to mix the promise with faith. And as a result, the month became a month of mourning and destruction instead of a month of celebration and gladness and prosperity. We already know he said that the Av means father. This is supposed to be the month of the father. This is the month that God has celebrated, set apart for him to be celebrated, for his goodness to be celebrated, for his renewal and restoration in your life to be celebrated. But the only way it can is if we take the promise of God and mix it with faith. But too many of us, we mix it with unbelief. We mix it with fear. We mix it with the lies of the enemy. We mix it with excuses. We mix it with procrastination. We mix it with, with, with all these other things that make it where the very promise ends up flipping and becoming a curse to us. And we be, we, ooh, it shall not my say. But I thank you, man of God, for making us aware of not just the month, but today's date, so we can individually, we can decree and declare and break some curses off of our life and choose life on this day. Choose the new. Come on through here. Who else wants to share with the man of God how he's blessed, him, how he's blessed you today? Praise God. I'm going to be first today. Praise God. Praise God. I just want to say praise God. That was a wonderful message. And I'm telling you, I love the way he di he displays it. I love the way he brings it forth. As I was while he was while he's speaking, and I'm getting all of this, and I'm writing it down, and and I and I love the, uh, the choices and some of the things you said also, Apostle, about uh, those points about our uh, our. Uh, you know, catching that bus, <laughs> getting on that bus of faith at Fifth and Eighth Street, and I, I love that. And you know, there's a whole lot of other stuff I love too. But praise God, I, but my what I saw was, I just like the way He displays it. You know, huh? oh no, we lost Elder. Elder, Elder Joanne, Elder Joanne. I'm back, I'm, I'm back. Okay. I'm okay. back. Never mad. Okay. It's okay. Okay, okay. the last thing <laughs> you heard okay. was, you love the way he displays it. And that's the last thing Yes, because all I could keep hearing to myself, all I could keep thinking to myself, I would have never caught all of that, all of that good, 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 good food if he was doing a aha, you know, if he was aha. You know what I'm saying? And, aha! You know, and I just, I just kept, that just kept resonating in my spirit. I said, you know, you never would have caught all of this in an aha, and an aha here, and an aha there. And I, I just, I just, I just thank God for that. You know what I'm saying? I just thank God for how He so calm and coolly present the Word of God, and it is so powerful. And I mean, penetrating. It 
actually gets to the root of the matter. It gets to the root of the matter. And you know what I love to praise God. I love the way God shows us all these prerequisites. I mean, he showed them, all, you know, like he said, they, they saw him walk through the, uh, the fire by day and the, and, the, and the fire by night, you know, and they came through the Red Sea. They, you know, all of these prerequisites. So, and, you know, and then this praise God, he's showing, showing us, thank you, uh, awesome prophet, that you're showing us how he showed us like last year didn't work. So what makes you think this year going to work in the same way? You know, that's, you know, he's showing you the prerequisite. Uh, um, oh my God. Woo. Hallelujah. Um, mm, Dr. Delisha's uh, testimony prerequisite, you know, uh, 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 Dr. Melissa, <laughs> praise God, prerequisites. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it's being demonstrated right before your eyes. How could you not make the right choice? How could you not make the right choice? And, uh, and that last part, praise God, which, which is, it, which I'm, I'm taking it all and I'm receiving it all. And I thank God because it all just, you know, even what uh, 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 Apostle was praying in the beginning about, you know, Jesus, the work. I mean, all of it just tied in together, everything. And then, then uh, also earlier today, the Lord was speaking to me and I was thinking back on a, a, a tragic thing that happened to me. You know what I'm saying? And when that tragic thing happened to me, in my mind, when it was coming back, trying to re re recreate itself, the Lord said to me, uh, don't, don't bring it up. Don't let it come back in your mind unless you write a book. That's what he said. Unless you write in a book. If you're not writing a book, don't let it come back up in your mind. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and then and then prophet comes and he says, very the very same thing but in a different you know different way but he said the very same thing you know no no he didn't say it i think it was uh, uh, uh um dr delisha dr delisha said it but it was just it's just so it's just so wonderful to be connected with the ah, with the voice of god the hand of god the heart of god it's just so it, i mean like i mean it resonates through you it just resonates i mean through everybody on here it just resonates. And I just thank him praise God because it's such an encouragement. And 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 he says some a couple of other things that that oh he, he, I was engrafted. I was in about in, in, in prophet mentioned that being engrafted into the vine, you know. And I was like, okay, Lord, all right, all right, all right. Praise God. But I just I just thank God because it's just I don't, I'm like poor. I don't know what else to say, you know. I'm like, oh, praise God. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I, he said, I, I just thank God for y'all. I just thank God. And I just thank God for the very movement that he's creating in us and how he's causing us to procreate. And I thank God for it in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Glory. Thank you, Elder Joanne, for coming through and blessing us. Blessing the man of God. Woo, yeah. What a blessing. I'm so grateful, grateful, grateful that uh you got that confirmation and that was a, that's a good word you said that 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 the that memory that tragedy was coming to try to recreate itself did y'all hear what she said what god said to recreate itself to put flesh back on and to make itself all new all over again and to come back with a new strength and a new figure but god God said, don't you dare do it, not unless you're doing it to write a book and to give him the testimony. Other than that, let it go. Oh, that was so good. Oh, come on through here, uh, um, Evangelist Sean. I know you want to share something. And anybody else, y'all get ready because the man of God, he's got to go. So come on up in the queue. Let me know you want to share something. All right, I'm going to be a hit and run, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> right up here. Yeah. We can't hear you, Sean. We can't hear you. What's going on with your sound? Lord have mercy. What's going on with your sound? It's like muffled and far away. Okay, hold on. Let's talk again. Can y'all hear me? Yes. 
Okay, all right. I'm I'm all right. I'm increasing my levels. Okay, good. We're hearing you better. You hear me better? Okay, I'm increasing. Thank now you. I, I gotta increase my levels. Yes. Yes, y'all. Okay. Is that is that better? Better? Okay. All right. Anyway, like I was saying, listen. <laughs> I'm getting on the bus. God, my name is Gus. I'm getting on the faith bus. Okay. I'm not missing. Ha! You know, and the thing about it, proper thank you, because when you have, you know, we, we all went through seasons where we missed the bus, where we have, you know, when we have not you know, walked where we, you know, God has wanted us to walk, you know, and when that thing, oh, how you broke that down, how that thing comes around, that God gives you another opportunity, another chance, why wouldn't I? Glory to God, having my, my eyes, that's why Paul said, have my eyes enlightened, you know, so that I can see the bus when it's coming, when I can see the opportunity when it's coming. So, oh my God, you said so many good things. Uh, one thing you said was my trust and faith and belief in God closes the window of destruction in my life. Woo! I felt like throwing my... my faith, my trust, and my belief closes the window of destruction. Because the enemy always wants to bring destruction and bring terror and all that kind of stuff. But, but guess what? I'm going to exercise my faith. I'm going to mix my faith up with my trust and my belief so that I can close every door of destruction, that we can live that abundant life. We don't gotta be going through all the time. You know what I mean? We can just be walking in total, just, uh, uh, you know, like Dr. Ty said, just that joy unspeakable and, you know, flowing, but I gotta do something to get there. You know, I gotta, gotta, you know, get on that bus and don't miss the opportunity. A, a prophet, you said so much. I gotta maintain my faith and keep my progress. Boy, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna maintain my, I'm gonna keep my, maintain my faith. And while I'm maintaining my faith, I will be able to keep my progress. And we, and you know what? We gotta really cherish our progress. You know, I, when, I, when you said that, I started, wow, thinking about that, you know, because I thought about my progress. I said, wow, Lord, just even in these few months, in this year, I'm just saying, wow, I'm going to hold on because it's, I have to treasure, treasure and value my progress, the treasure and value my progress. And so thank you, prophet, <laughs> to God be all the glory. And yeah, uh, uh, Joe, Joe, uh, yeah, yeah, ma'am, listen. I, I like what you said, but I only say it if you're writing a book. Well, honey, I got a few book projects <laughs> that I'm look. I got, and I wait for yours, out of Joe Joe. We can't hear you. Okay, <laughs> I I can understand sign language. I got you. God bless y'all. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Evangelist Sean, for coming through and blessing the man of God and adding to everything on today. Listen, y'all are blessing me. You're blessing me. Come on through here. Who else wants to share anything? Anybody else? Um, uh, Sister Melissa, Brother Dennis, Sister Regis, Brother Christian. Anybody else want to bless the man? Come on through, Evangelist Abreu. Mm -mm. my prophet my prophet oh my god you god is so good god is so awesome um it's just, i know it says it's a scripture in there i don't know where it's at but this is why you're calling the answer is on its way and you touched on so many conversations that i have had with the lord uh generation of curses you know why i'm going through this i think i was hearing it with one of the um I think it was Elder Jojo we were talking about. And it was like, no, you know, hey, we are curse breakers. You know, it's no generation curses. It stops here. It's not going any further. You know, and, and it's so true. We can get this focus, but it's like, watch your alignment. And when you said that, I thought, like, you have to watch your assignment also. 
to make sure that you stay on the assignment that God has you on and to stay in the cycle that you're in and don't run from it. And then I was saying about the bus, it was like, well, I'm not going to see the back of the bus. I'm going to be on the bus. So I really, 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 it was, I got so many notes and things. Um, and then the part where you were saying, who are you choosing? It say, this day, who do you choose? Do you use, choose life or you choose death? Do you choose God or the enemy? And we are his children. And staying focused on what he's done. And like you say, I always like that about the, the when they go in. And it was like, wait a minute. How in the world they, they felt that way? They were spies. Nobody knew that they were even there. And then they took the fruit, the, the grapes that, you know, you always see the picture, you know, and it took them so many days and it didn't spoil. That enough, should have, you know, but that's the mentality of the mind. So it's like, yes, we have to have the mind of Christ. God bless you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. It was, I can't even describe. It's no words I can describe what you brought today. It has truly blessed me. And I can't wait for part two. God bless you. <laughs> Amen. I'm looking forward to it too. Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. Anyone else want to share anything before the man of God comes back and just says his last word to us before he starts shuffling around and getting himself together? Glory to God. Woo, we love you, prophet. We thank God for you. We really do. We thank God for how he uses you and you allowing him to, you know, to use you the way he does. Um, there's really not much to add to this. We just need to let this word marinate in our spirit and to be ready for the continuation uh, for next week. Be sure to listen to the replay. If you want to go back and, and, and just visit this word and share it with others, you can find it on our Crossover Empowerment Kingdom Ministry Facebook page, be sure to like that page, be sure to share it, tag people, you know, just put the message in their inbox and bless them with it, or you can find us on, on YouTube, but, you know, I love you, man of God, and I'm just so grateful for your service in the Lord. We know each of us have our individual presses. I know your press personally, and I'm just always just humbled and just praying for you, praying for your strength because nobody knows how hard it is. I don't even know how hard it is uh, for you, you know, to work the hours that you work, to work the physical way that you work, to come in three, four, five in the morning and maybe get two and three hours of sleep and then to get up and then to, to try, you know, to serve us and then to go back to work and do it all over again. And ha, ah, we thank you that you find value in your salvation and in your call enough to, to say, yes, I will, and not to say, no, I can't because I have to work the night before and I'm not going to have the ability to do it. But you, you value your call and a God, he meets you there. He meets you there and he gives you grace for, for your yes. So when you say yes, understand, when I want you all to understand these things that God has set before you that seem so much larger than you, what your capacity is, it is. But all he asks, all he's asking you for is your yes. And he will capacitate your yes with his grace. He's just looking for willing vessels and he will fill you with his spirit and his ability to get it done. But guess what? God isn't a user where once he's done with you, he, his spirit will leave you. And then you'll just be standing there broke, busted and disgusted and falling apart and, and not have anything left. No, there's residual, there's, per listen, he will bless you just for saying yes. He, his presence will be with you and he'll meet you at every point of need. So we thank each and every one of you. Man of God, come on through and just bless us. Close us out with your final words and blessing. Pronounce a blessing and we are on our way. Um, Amen. I thank you all for pressing forward to come to this Zoom meeting and, uh, and it's having expectations of hearing the word. And, um, and, and I was just so excited this morning just for the mere thought fact that God has given me an understanding myself and for me to be able to share that understanding with you all that in the in the process of our advancing our salvation in the kingdom what was done then is also still in play for now 
so we can receive the same manifested blessings and the glory of God in and on our lives as he had given our ancestors. And we know that we've been grafted into something more greater than we can even put words on or understand and it's always progressing. The word of God, the movement of God and the seasons that God transitioned us through, we're always progressing. And so know that we ain't seen nothing yet. And as we continue to open our eyes, understanding and God continue to open our hearts of belief and touching our faith, we will receive the promises that have been set before us if we faint not, amen. Father, in the, name, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for what you have done and what you have said in this Zoom meeting, Father, this worship meeting. Father, we thank you for being our honor guest. We thank you, God, for always being present to assist us in our understanding and opening our eyes to the what and the new that we have opportunities for. So, Father, as we go through this day, we ask that you continue to walk with us and allow the words that have come forward, the prayers that have come forward to manifest in our life, the healing that has been prayed for, the, the, the understanding that has been manifested, Father, allow us to be able to retain and receive what thus says the Lord according to our capacity to receive and understand your glory on our lives. So, Father, as we leave this place and not your presence, we ask that you continue to lead us and guide us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Y'all sow into the word of God from the man of God at his cash Thank app. That's it's his name. Cash tag Jerry Isaac. Thank you so much, Evangelist Sean, for, for being that, that leader for over Alam to make sure that the leadership is lifted up, those who are sowing into the kingdom. God bless you all. We will see you next Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Love you all. Blessings. Good night.